and we're back. Hello, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dark Phoenix Gaming, and you are watching The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. <laughs> oh boy, it feels good to be back in this game. I started recording this ages ago, and just had other stuff I was more into playing at the time, so I just shelved that recording and decided I'd come back to it whenever I got around to it. And that time is now. But in the last episode, we had just beaten up a bunch of idiots by the tavern and picked up this contract from the bounty board about a monster haunting a well. Now, we need to go off and the fellow responsible for that contract while also making sure to grab all the things because we're going to need alchemical ingredients going forward that's basically a given in Witcher anything alchemical and I'll probably need it <gasps> oh and Sorry, little stutter there. I just cannot fucking get over how I am actually able to jump in this game. After all the time I spent playing Witcher 1 and Witcher 2 and having to put up with just a small fence, maybe a few inches taller than Geralt being able to stop us in our tracks. It is just so good to be able to jump, finally. Really cannot express that strongly enough. But anyways, here we are. Greetings, good man. Having trouble with your well? That's what I read. Aye. Tis haunted. Has been for a good twenty years. Twenty? So why'd you put out a notice just now? Because earlier on we drew our water from the river. But so many corpses floating in it after the battle is turned noxious. My daughter Mandy drank half a pitcher. Felt dreadful ill, can't keep nothing down. She grows worse by the day. Herbalist claims you fight a fever with drink. And not beer nor cider, but water. Clear, pure water. And where am I to get that if not from the well? But first, the ghost's got to be driven away. And it don't let any man near. Okay, so why don't you describe this ghost for me so I know what I'm dealing with? This ghost. Describe it for me. Well, it's awful frightening. Awful. That doesn't I mean, help what does much. it look like? It looks like a woman, but fresh from the grave. Wears a dirty dress, all rags, its skin flaking off its bones, and it howls. Like it's suffering. Some wraith. Or maybe an alp. If you don't wallop it, master. If you don't take care of it, that is. It'll come kill me daughter. Okay. I'll help you. But first, let's talk about my reward. I feel for you. But this is my job. So let's talk about my pay. Something not right with the coin. I see. So we can haggle for a higher reward, apparently. Mm. I don't feel like being too unreasonable with this fellow, so just a little bit more, maybe. That settles it, then. After all, it doesn't look like this guy has many coppers to rub together. So, uh, just on the principle of it, we have to ask for a little more. Fine, I'll help. Where's this well? In Havel. A settlement on the heights. It's abandoned now. No one ventures there on account of the ghost being about. Drive it off. Please. That is what you're paying me for. So yes, I will drive it off. This will 
Now we gotta find this spirit. Man, like I said this before in the previous episode, but I just cannot get over how gorgeous this game is. It's just so pretty and I love being able to just wander around, take in the scenery, like... It's not the sort of thing I can really describe with words, but it's just such a great experience. Just the best. Well, that needs a key. Oh, this will cool the stuff in here. Um. Yes, I am basically just looting all of the herbs that we find on our way to our destination. Eventually, I'll start being a little bit more selective with my plant looting, but for the time being, I think we want as many as we can get. Abandoned village we have found. There be our ghosts. I'm going to save the game now. And it's time. The infamous well. A new raid. I wonder what it's doing here. Noon Wraith, eh? I don't remember. Did we encounter Noon Wraiths in any of the previous games? Because it looks vaguely similar. There might have been something sort of like this that I found in the first Witcher game, but I'm not remembering. Bestiary. Read about the Noon Wraiths. Let's see. We have the entry on Noon Wraiths and the entry on the Devil by the Well. Residents of White Orchard had suffered more than their fair share of misfortunes. As the armies had trampled their spring planting, Griffin had begun abducting their livestock. And the rotten icing on this painful cake, a noon wraith haunted a nearby well. No wonder the locals called this final evil a devil. The Witcher could sense something bound her to this place and that in order to send her off into the ethereal realms, he would first need to learn her secret. Once that, would do Once that was done, he would have to prepare for battle, and a noon wraith is a demanding opponent. She can disorient her victim by blinding him and creating mirror images of herself. These copies slowly suck their victim's life energy while their mistress remains untouchable. In order to defeat her, the Witcher could not rely on his silver sword alone. The Yerdin sign would also be needed to trap her and force her to take on a material form. Spectral oil is also an option worth considering. Something's apparently. tied the new wraith to this place. An object. Something she needs before she'll leave this world. Strange, she's not attacking. Yeah, that is odd. A monster that's not going straight for trying to murder our face. Curious.
here. Wait. Oh, there he is. It's just on the other side of this. Alchemist powder. And a pipe. Hmm. Water. over in that corner. Ow! The doll. Is there anything else? There is. Just got to be thorough, after all. It's everything in that part of it. And I know she's not attacking, but just to be safe, I'm going to keep away from the Noon Wraith. Just in case she's only not attacking, because we aren't close enough to merit a response of that sort yet. I don't want to risk it, I don't think. Plenty of alchemical ingredients coming out of this, though. have read a black magic doll a dire journal even. might be useful a man stabbed with a knife died on the spot animals fed on his body picked his skeleton clean more blood stains over there but it's not his blood follow the drag mark Stains, barely visible. Someone was dragged this way. Someone who was still alive. Okay. Looks like we have a lead. Palm prints in blood. Small hands. A woman's. Someone dragged her out. She was wounded. Fought for her life. No I guess body we inside, know who our but might still find some tracks. To be Under there. the right conditions, blood stains can remain visible for decades. Another print by the well. Okay, examine the well. But first, first, once the tutorial stops harassing me. I want to check out this yellow di diary. <clears throat> it's happened. Volker sent a petition of our grievances against the Lord to the court at Vizima. Listed all the harm he's done. How he killed it, Johan. For not taking off his cap quick enough. He's trampled our fields when drunk with nary a thought of repayment. How he barged in during Peter's wedding and demanded his right of the first night. And we finally got what we begged Melitele for in our prayers for so long. The judge recognized our grievances and waived all our bonds and duties to the Lord. We can finally strike out on our own. Last, we can live as free men. The first day of our freedom, 
Hovel's not much of a village yet, and to my mind, it's better than the most fantastic palace. Volker fumed our home with hazelwood smoke to drive out easel, buried a marten under the gate to make sure no thieves cross our threshold, and then he gave me a bracelet, loveliest I've ever seen. Mother said it's foolish to spend so much on a bauble when we haven't plows nor hoes, and that we ought to return it to the merchant. But for my dead body, I'll never take it off. It'll always be there to remind me of Volker, of how happy we were that day. They say the Lord is coming to see us, and that he wants to make a deal to beg us to return to the village. They say he's calmed since his son died, that he's not as quick to anger about small slights. Well, we'll see. One way or another, I've no intention to move one inch from here. Oh. Uh, bracelet. I'm thinking that bracelet is probably the thing binding this noon wraith, is my thought so far. And I have a feeling we know how she died. The Lord wasn't coming to make amends. He was coming to get back at the supposed slights of peasants daring to question their lord. So he came here and had them all killed. That bracelet might be what ties the woman's spirit to this place. My thoughts exactly, Geralt. My thoughts exactly. Palm prints in blood. No body in And we've already seen that, so I can skip it. Whoa, got too close. Yeah. Damn, you're ugly. That is... Indeed what it is. Noonie has... Just does not like us being close by. And we took a few hits. faded, but the line's taut. Something's not right. Noon Wraith won't stray too far from the well. The corpse, hanged by the bucket rope. Hanged corpse. Woman the journal belonged oh to. Oh dear. Must be. Yeah, that's my thought as well, Geralt. That's my thought as well. Wide pelvis, small jaw. A woman. Around 30, judging by the teeth. Left arm's missing. Need to cremate the remains. Gotta find the object that binds her to this place before I do, though. Was she wearing the bracelet from her husband? Might be why her arm fell off. Yeah, Gotta that's jump down what there. I was thinking. Hope I don't break my legs. Well, there being water down here helps. That it does. Now, let's find this journal. Let's find it. Our 
bracelet. There we go. We got Maybe it. Not to come up empty-handed. A bracelet with an inscription. Not to find our to way Claire out. From Volker. Bracelet must have belonged to the woman in the well. Lovely craftsmanship, but I'll have to burn it with the body to get rid of the noon wraith for good. Better do it near the well. Yep. I just gotta find myself a way out of this cave. Do a little looking around. Come on. That's exit. Prepare to fight the noon race. Light a fire. For this fight, brew some wraith oil, drink some potions. Just so, just so. Wraith oil. Meditation. I still have so many tutorials going on because I'm not that far into things that I have to force my way through them. I need Spectre Oil. We don't have the drowner brain we need for swallow. Cat is useless to us right now. White honey? Uh, no. Looks like that's gonna have to be it. Just some necrophage oil. And 
because this is a noon wraith, we want to meditate till it's actually noon. A second, I want to burn your body. If you're okay with that, okay. Now, Noon Wraith won't stray too far from to the well. Light this fire. Body and be ready to fight. And the bracelet. Igni. Ready to fight indeed. Here you are. Here you are. Hey, I think it worked. Be shy. Or do. Makes no difference to me. Take a few good hits, why don't you? So, that didn't go great. One hit, and then fuck off to somewhere else. That's gonna have to be the strategy here. I don't think trying anything more sustaining is gonna work out. And lots of rolling, too. Lots. 
lot of rolling. Hey, I got two hits in there. Not bad. Not bad at all. Tried for three, didn't work. Gotta be careful. Got to be careful. Don't watch your ass, Geralt. Your ass will be dead. Bear that in mind, please. We do not want your ass to be dead. Trophy. Screw it, I'll just take everything. Man, that was one hell of a tough fight. Now, we're heading back into town. On the back of a giant. Boatload of deer. God. The hell is going on out here that there's so many deer chilling about? That is what I want to know. Why so many fucking deer? Because really, it's a bit excessive, is it not? I am Medetta, Estrat SL Novigrad. It is a bit excessive. But now... Let's go and give Odalon the good news. Job done. The well was haunted by the ghost of a woman who was killed there. I drove it away. I just hope every unburied wretch don't start haunting us. Well, that battlefield's gonna cause us a heap of trouble. If they do, you know who to contact. Meanwhile, Claire... Volker. Names ring a bell? I don't know. <laughs> Though I did hear our herbalist Tamira mention a Claire once. Same one, maybe? Your reward, Master Witcher. The gold I'd hid away for Mandy's dowry. Without you, she'd never have lived to wed. Now, let's hope for it, at least. <clears throat> now, a more decent person would probably tell him to keep the money for his daughter, but our Geralt is not a decent person. He's a mercenary with magic superpowers. So we will just say thank you so much and be on our way. How about that? Never expected to get a dowry. Nor did I suppose I'd ever give one to a witcher. Strange times these, wouldn't you say? Strange and sad. True that. 23 gold for killing a new raid. Very
Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Now, that's another quest down. Next time, I'm not actually sure what we're going to be doing next, but I think this makes for a good point to end this episode. Um, so, this has been Dark Phoenix Gaming, and you have been watching The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I hope you'll join me next time when, well, we'll figure out what we're doing next time when it comes. Hey, watch it, mate. I'm trying to do my outro here. As I was saying... Probably we'll just go off and explore the world a little bit. There's plenty of unexplored landmarks worth checking out. Could be worth a little bit of a wonder through a couple of episodes, maybe. Anyways... Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. See you then, folks. See you then. So long for now.